Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be finding out which Outer Banks character I am. I'm very excited for this. I love Outer Banks. I've been watching it since it came out. I've been watching season three and it just seems to be hitting. Like the second season, okay this might be an unpopular opinion, but the second season wasn't my absolute favorite. I love the first season and I think the third season is kind of hitting like the first. I am six or seven episodes through it, so I'm pretty far through it and I really like it so far. So I'm gonna find out which character I am most like. I feel like it's going to be Pope. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe a more voice of reason, more logical thinking. My favorite characters from Outer Banks are probably Kiara and JJ. I just think they're both really fun. So yeah, I pulled up three quizzes. I feel like they'll probably say the same thing and if they don't, I'll have to take more. So the first one I picked is from Buzzfeed. It's called, which character from Outer Banks are you? Choose something important from Outer Banks. Okay, the options are The Compass, Midsummer's Parcel 9, John B's Van, The Bell Tower, and Vlad and Bell. Okay, I'm gonna say Vlad and Bell. I just love that. I think that was one of my favorite parts of season one. What's the first thing you would buy with your treasure money? Laptop, new clothes, boat, a donation to charity, college tuition, or hot tub? I don't know. I'd probably say college tuition. That's something on my radar. It's coming up. How would your friends describe you? Nerdy, hippie, loyal, brave, warm, or witty? Maybe loyal. I feel like I'm pretty loyal. Pick another teen drama to binge. Okay, I have not seen The O.C. I have not seen Friday Night Lights. I have seen Riverdale. I have not seen One Tree Hill. I have not seen Pretty Little Liars. And I have seen Gossip Girl. So either Gossip Girl or Riverdale. I don't know, I feel like I enjoy more of like the crime aspect of Riverdale, so I'm gonna pick that. Pick something gold. I don't know. Maybe this one? Choose a beach activity. Scuba, fishing, surfing, jet skiing, drinking, or sunning. Surfing, I guess? Finally, pick a letter in Poe. I think I'm gonna pick O, which is pretty solid. I'm Kiara! Okay, I'm happy about that, because Kiara is one of my favorites. You're a total hippie at heart who loves this planet and hates rich kids, even though you're one of them, but shh. You're funny and adventurous, usually the one getting your friends out of trouble because you do anything for them. I feel like that's pretty solid. Let's move on. The second one is also from BuzzFeed. What would you rather do with your weekend? Surf and get into a little trouble, hang on the beach and get a tan, crack open a few drinks on the beach with friends, or watch the sunset and go shopping. I don't know, I'm gonna say watch the sunset and go shopping. If it's a go thrifting, it would definitely be me, but I don't, I don't love shopping, but I love watching the sunset, so I think that wins. How would you describe yourself? Loyal, witty, fun, or caring? I think I'm gonna pick loyal again. What is one of your personal obstacles? Proving myself, solving problems, taking what's mine, finding my passion. I'm gonna say finding my passion because I feel like I have so many interests and especially like I was saying before, like with college coming up, I can't pick just one. Like I have so many things that I like to do. What is something you struggle with? Independence, family, trying to be perfect, and my identity. Maybe like trying to be perfect. When you're assigned a long-term project, do you start right away or wait? I usually start right away, I wait until the last minute, I start when I feel like it or I don't do it. I usually start when I feel like it. Like sometimes it'll be right away if I'm inspired, but I might wait sometime if I'm not inspired. Do you talk to new people at parties or do you stick with people you know? Okay, so this assumes that I go to parties. I work the party, I stay with my friends unless someone approaches me. I get to know people, I love making new friends. I prefer to stick with the people I know. I'm just gonna say I prefer to stick with the people I know. I think that would be me. What is your dream? To become a rich professional surfer, to live life and have fun, to prove myself, to travel the world with friends. I'm gonna say to live life and have fun. Cause like, yes, I would love to travel the world with friends, but I think just living works, so. John B. That's surprising. You're a free-spirited and adventurous person who loves to have fun. While you can be laid back and chill, you're always up to the challenge and you never back down from a fight. You're fiercely loyal to your friends, even getting a little overproductive at times. You feel most at peace in the ocean. Okay, John B, that's actually very surprising. So let's move on to the last quiz I picked out. Okay, this one is from Seventeen. It's a Saturday afternoon, which fits you best? You already have plans set with your friends or you like to see where the wind takes you. I'm gonna say the second one. Where would you like to live when you grow up? I'm gonna say a big city. You're going on a first date with someone, what's the vibe that you're going for? Trying to go all out to woo them or keep things low key to really get to know each other. I'm gonna say keep things low key. Do you watch the movie or read the books first? I always, always 100% read the book. I will not watch a movie if I have not read the book. If I know that there's a book, sometimes I'll watch the movie before by accident and be like, wow, I wasted it, like I didn't read the book first. 
I'm 100% a book first person. It's a movie night and it's your turn to pick what kind of movie are you going for? A super high action thriller or a fun and bubbly romantic comedy? I'm gonna say a thriller. When it comes to surprise parties, which one fits you best? I'm the person getting surprised or I'm the one that's always surprising my friends. I haven't really done, well, in the one surprise party I participated in, it was for my mom, so. Where would you rather vacate with your friends? Nassau, Bahamas, or Outer Banks, North Carolina. Okay, so here's the thing. I'd like to go to both. I've never been to either, but I just think in the like exoticness level, I'm gonna pick the Bahamas. Pick a color, black or white. I'm picking black. Which app do you use more? Definitely TikTok over Instagram. Which treasure would you hunt for? The Cross of Santo Domingo or the Royal Merchant Gold? I don't know. One's gold, the other's gold. Maybe the Royal Merchant Gold just because you can easily turn that into money and then like the cross is traceable and I don't know. I just feel like I'd pick the Royal Merchant Gold. Sandals or sneakers? I'm gonna say sneakers. If you spot a cute new top in the store, what do you do? Buy it before it's gone or wait until there's a good sale. I'm gonna say sale. I honestly never buy new clothes anyways. Your favorite celeb couple just broke up. Which one fits you best? You're the first to find out and break the news to your friends or you find out from everyone else and freak out with them. Okay, I'm usually the first to find out. I'm on top of those things. Okay, I picked completely evenly between the two. So that means I'm just like he. While Key is stuck between her life and the Pogues and the Kooks, you're going through the same thing yourself. You are a part of different friend groups, but you love all the same. You see the best in all kinds of people. This is not edited. You see the best in all kinds of people while allows you to mesh well with anyone. You're often the voice of reason for everything, but sometimes it can take a while for your friends to take you seriously. Even when a plan goes wrong, you're able to jump in and find a quick solution. So I guess I'm Kiara. I'm very happy that I got one of my favorite characters. I'm surprised about John B. I don't think I have much of anything in common with him, but Kiara definitely makes sense. So comment what you guys think of Outer Banks season three, if you've watched it. Let me know what your favorite Outer Banks characters are as well. I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.